Hi students, hope all of you are doing well. I am Dr. Krishna Kinko Pathak, Department of Physics, Arjavidda Pitt College. Today I am again with a new topic which is very relevant at this moment. Your brother, your sister as well as you itself may have appeared in class 10 board examination and result is coming very soon. right? So at this moment you are facing two questions two confusions in your mind. One is your choosing the school, colleges, institution for class 11. And the second one is very important. You are confused about your stream. Whether you should go for science stream, whether you should go for art stream, or whether you are going for commerce or any other vocabulary stream. Now for the first part that is choosing your institution as well as uh, colleges, I understand your marks will be the main criteria. But for choosing your career, I tell you once again, for choosing your career, marks should not be the only criteria. So when you choose your stream, then your level of passion, level of interest and other technicalities also comes into play. Now, I have seen some of the students who have scored only 60 to 70 percent in class 10 board exam. They have scored more than 80 to 90 percent in class 12 examination. It is because of their interest, because of their passion towards the science subject. I am not a uh, career expert, but as a science teacher, I have seen that and that's why I am explaining in front of you. Again, number of students who scored more than 80 to 90 percent in class 10 board examination only get 60, 40, 50 percent in class 12 board examination. So 80 percent is coming down to 40 percent. I have a number of students who have scored that. I have seen these things. And in the second case, when their marks goes down from class 10 to 12, then the parent has the only question, why this is so? What happened to my child? Because my child in class 8 got 80%, in class 9 he got 85%, in class 10 he got 86 percent then from class 10 to 12 why he has scored only 40 to 50 percent why this is so because the transition from class 10 to 11 is not the same with class 8 to 9 or 9 to 10 so today i shall discuss what is the difference and how to tackle this problem what is the psychological pressure from class 10 to 11 okay we shall discuss on those things with again pen and paper so before we choose science as a, your career i think there are some points which if you understand at the very beginning then it will be helpful for you to cope up with the subject so today we shall see such a very valid point for you as a student and for your parent too when you choose science as your your career in class 11 then you have to understand the transition from class 10 to 11 okay let us start uh, divide this transition into two parts one is your say study time in class 10 a good student an average time of four to eight hours a good student study from four to eight hours in class 10. This is excluding his school time as well as his uh, or her the tuition time, coaching time. This is only the study time at home. Now when you move from class 10 to class 11, this time is not going to change because you have to go by your other activities like toilet uh, you have to go by your food and all these things also so 
this time is not going to change ultimately this is your constant this time part from transition from class 10 to 11 is not going to change this is constant now you look at the another valid point this is your volume of the subject if you look at your class 10 and class 11 here you will see a fast difference in class 10 you might have seen your the science book is something like this the volume of the science book is something like this or mathematics book is also something like this but here in class 11 this is only volume 1 of physics then volume 2 is there then for chemistry also volume 1 volume 2 is there then for biology then for mathematics if you look at the refresher course this is one of that produce suppose volume 1 this is another this is volume 2 so you have seen that this volume is at least three times more than that of class 10 your volume of study is three times more than that of class 10 but here the study time is not going to change from 10 to 11 it is it will remain constant whatever you try the practical thing is that you cannot change or you cannot increase this study time three times the uh, comparison to your this subject now how to tackle this problem how to understand or how to cope up with this increase of volume if you look at this suppose this is your class 8 this is your class 9 I am considering only three sections this is the running career here uh, then you are here from class 8 to 9 you will see the same volume of book so for you when you jump from class 8 to 9 you are here then you will see that this is a simply drain like a drain you can jump it then the almost same volume you will see at class 10 so you will see that this is also a drain no problem i can jump it you are here but when your volume is becoming three times subject volume is becoming three times then you will see that this is not a drain this is for you a river so you cannot jump out so to cross this river you require some pillars so i have considered that the first pillar is your interest and motivation towards the subject this is important point that you should be always motivated towards the subject and second point is very important because in class 10 you have revised everything more than five times you got the time and that's why you have revised it more than five times now if you actually subtract these five times to two times then this eight hour study time will reduce to three to four hours so by changing our revision attitude changing our revision habit we can reduce our time and expand here so what you have to understand here the another pillar is your inertia of revision i have given the name inertia of revision this part has to be cultured you have to culture so that your time of revision will become less once you study it at class 11 then you should understand that i will not i am not going to revise it again okay and then the third point the third point is that in science you should have the ability of visualizing the situation this is called visualization suppose someone says you have uh, suppose someone says one newton force okay and you have also got at your class 10 that one newton force is there but here you have to understand what one newton is if i give a kick of one newton how a man of 50 kg will displace 
that type of visualization you should have when you study science so these three points one is your inertia of revision you have to remove it and then you should have the interest towards the subject and then you should be able to visualize the situation if these three pillars act then you can move from here then you can jump from here it will be a small jump for you and then it will be a small jump for you and then you will come to the class 11. So during this one year time if you culture yourself and if you acquire these three valid points then at class 11 you will be accustomed with science and then from class 11 to 12 this gap will be a very small gap similar to your drain now it will become drain for you and you will get your proper fruit here so i hope all of you have get uh, you have understood my point what i am going to discuss here and in the next video i shall discuss about uh, the techniques or about the procedures how to prepare yourself for other examination excluding your board examination thank you